you have come to Bluestone for the weekend. We're here from Friday till Monday. We arrived last night at about half four, five o'clock. Got into our lodge. We're staying in Merlin's Crest, the new area. We're staying in a Solver Lodge for four people and number 25 and we have a buggy as well which is brilliant this is the lodge map we all get one of these in the welcome pack with our keys and things so it tells you where everything is on the site we are in this new area here merlin's crest this is such a great position we are just three lodges here and we've got trees all around us so it feels quite private so really really chuffed that we were given this we've got serenidome the hive the Blue Lagoon, and that's the way out then. Our car is here. And we've got all these lodges, we've got a lake where they do like paddle boarding, kayaking, and around the middle here is the village. So you've got the pub, lots of playgrounds, and um, restaurants and things there. to hire bikes but my son and my husband bought their own and if your lodge doesn't come with a buggy then you are able to hire one it costs five pound per person to make a reservation for your evening meal and then that that money is then deducted from your final bill the first night we went to the farmhouse grill and the food was really nice the staff were really friendly and we had steaks and different types of burgers which were really really nice I'm just going to the spa, it's half past nine in the morning. John has gone for a cycle, about a 10 mile cycle all around Caniston Woods and Bluestone. Kids have only just started waking up, so they're teens, they're happy. So yeah, so I've booked a two hour spa, so I'm taking the buggy to see where I can park. There's signs everywhere, but I'm not sure where I'm going. I've just left my buggy about a 10 minute walk away. I just hope that I remember where it is. But um, yeah, the sign's around and it tells you in minutes. So the last sign I saw to the spa, it said six minute walk away. In the steam room, it's really pretty, but you might be all fogged up. <laughs> you probably can't see me, I'm in the brick sauna. Yeah. I don't know how long I'll stay in here for. I prefer the Celtic sauna, that one's lovely. I'm in the ice cave. I'm in the sea salt cave. When I first came in here earlier on, I thought, what on earth is all this about? But there's sea salt in all the um, shelves and things. There's only two little seats here. I'm in the Celtic Sauna, which is an amazing, contains Omega-3 and vitamin A. So it's amazing, amazing sauna. So I'm gonna stay in here for as long as I can. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see me, but I've only done one hour so far and I've been through all the rooms, been in the hydro pool outside and had two coffees and about four glasses of water. It's so lovely here, really, really lovely. I'm not very good at understanding times. There's no clocks around here. So it says on all the doors, you might be able to see how long to spend in each. Like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, but I can't gauge time. So I'm just going in them obviously too quickly. So I'm doing it all again. Here's my buggy. 188. What's it called? A dolphin. Okay. Got my shopping. Just got some toilet roll and things. Put that there. Flick that up. Press that. Seven, two, three. There you go. It's in forward. So I'm ready to go now. John's back from his ride. He's currently making bacon baps. So that'd be nice. It's about half past 12 now. And yeah, we're gonna go swimming later, but then in between, we're just gonna wander around and see what's around here, as this is our only full day then, because we're leaving tomorrow evening to pick up the dogs. I'm using my Insta360 Go 3 little tiny camera. So I'm gonna stick you behind me and I'll fast forward this so that you get to see 
what it's like driving back to our lodge. That's what I keep on wanting to say chalet, but no, it's a lodge. All right then, here we go. From Pembrokeshire so we haven't come far we've never been to stay in Bluestone before but yeah first impressions it's beautiful really really lovely it's not too busy either which is nice and we got up this morning at seven o'clock and John and I were sat on these chairs and we were watching squirrels just running past it is so so pretty here we are right next to Oakwood so coming around the corner over there you can't see because of all the trees in the way but coming around the corner you can hear people screaming on megaphobia <laughs> so that really freaked me out this morning <laughs> it's like what if but obviously it's, it's awkward and we've got an ensuite bathroom which is amazing and look at this i love this we've got espa products we've got espa hand wash and espa <laughs> and espa Body, um, shower gel as well it's so smart and this bath i'll show you what is really special about this bath later tonight but it's something to do with the ceiling <laughs> we're gonna go off now and explore bluestone <laughs> it's so weird i'm sat in the back of the buggy and john is driving so oliver's following us on the bike somewhere he's in front of us. oh he's in front of us somewhere. so this is my view uh -huh. this is the village we're in the village, are we? It's weird seeing everything backwards. The reverse, oh, yeah. Forwards, then. oh yeah, there's a village. Oh, so we could park yeah. anywhere, park really. Yeah. yeah, it's so good. Yeah. Okay. All yeah. oh, right, yeah. hold on. Okay, that's handy. Handy, yeah. handy, handy to know. Oh, look at that. The lake is coming up now. Oh, right, okay. The Bluestone Trails. We're halfway. There's a lake over there. We've see. got about half of the petrol left. Alright. Not petrol. Still petrol. Not petrol. <laughs> Electric. Nice breeze there. I know. It is really warm today. It's so nice. There's Oliver. I was there this morning. Beautiful, beautiful spa. <laughs> it was good. Okay. We just honked the horn. My God, John, do it again, just once. Go on. Oh, I've got around here. Oh, is it? Yeah, the car behind it. Ready? Yeah, go on in, go on in, do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so loud. There's lots of signs telling you where to go. But all other areas. All other areas, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go to all other areas, wherever that is. So we need to go back down there yeah, to go to the park, um, to the village, because we want to have goes, a coffee yeah. in tea coffee, I think it is. Okay, so we're gonna go in there. Is there a way to go in? Well, yeah, through the front. <laughs> We're gonna go to the lake and then either later or tomorrow we're gonna go down Camp Smoky. Can we walk around the corner? You can go as far as you want yeah. We stopped off at tea coffee and I had a milkshake and Oliver had a milkshake. It was really, really lovely. We had Biscoff and salted caramel with cream on top. <laughs> really nice. And the other two had a cappuccino, a latte and a pineapple juice. For all of that, it came to £18 something. I think the milkshakes were like £4.25 each. So, okay prices. <laughs> <laughs> Not cheap, but it's what to expect really. We're going to park up by our 
lodge and walk down to Camp Smoky. I don't think we can bring the buggy down there and it's quite a windy walk, probably about 10 minutes or so. So yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. Oliver is somewhere around here, <laughs> making his own way back. Whoa. It's so nice here on a rocking chair. <laughs> really really peaceful I'm just waiting for the others now before we just head down right there right where the fence is that's the walkway down to I forgot what it's called now smoky something can't take the buggies down there I think Oliver's gonna take his bike it's so hot we're having a bit of a heat wave here in Wales well the UK this last week has been really really hot and humid but I feel sorry for those in London it's even hotter probably like 30 odd degrees which is crazy isn't it we've had such a bad summer like july and august of rain and cold weather and now it's um yeah hot so that's our accommodation there and this is the buggy park if you want to go down to camp smoky so that's what we're doing now <laughs> heading back now we thought that there was another way of walking but we couldn't find the path so we're going back the way we came up the ziggy zaggy path there just did the s'mores oh crazy idea face sweating because it's so hot but it's really nice i'd imagine it being really beautiful in the winter on our way to the blue lagoon now swimming pool haven't been in about 12 years we made no reservations to go inside unfortunately i wasn't able to film inside the blue lagoon but i was shocked to see that it just needs a really good repaint the slides are looking their age now you know so it's nice and clean it's a really nice pool to get in you just walk into it really shallow so great for little ones and babies perfect and then you've got the lazy river yeah it's a really fun pool but it just needs a boosting up a bit the Serena Dome is impressive, really, really cool. You've got nice little bars as well, <laughs> dotted around so you can have like teas, coffee, or a beer. There's lots of little areas where you've got go-karts. There's a stage area where they put on live performances. You've got climbing areas. It's a huge indoor play area. And being in Wales where it rains a lot of the time, I'd imagine like the Hive and Serena Dome, especially in the summer months. Yeah, I'd imagine those two places to be buzzing. We're off to the Oak, I think it's called, for a meal. It's an Italian restaurant and wow, the amount of food that we had. We were all stuffed. We had a few shearing plates and pasta dishes and some drinks and yeah, we didn't have any puddings because we were stuffed. It was really, really tasty. And look at the lights. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. Right above the bath. I am absolutely shattered, but I'm thinking, shall I have a bath? I am. I'm going to have a bath. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> This is our last day, it's Sunday. We are due to check out tomorrow. 
kids got school, John and I have got work to do, so we decided to leave on the Sunday instead. We live in Pembrokeshire, so it's not that way. have to travel far, but it just makes sense. Plus, we can pick up the dogs from the kennels later on as well. It's been raining all morning. Oliver's just gone out on a bike ride and it seems to have settled so it's about 12 o'clock now so we've just been packing up ready and the plan is to go on the buggy go around the places we haven't been yet and go and have a coffee somewhere something to eat and then we're gonna leave probably about five-ish something like that this lodge is absolutely beautiful the bathroom is stunning the shower is gorgeous I love the fact that we've got esper products <laughs> all around the apartment we've got hand wash body washes the lot it's really nice i had a bath in here last night i had a cold bath <laughs> not freezing cold but it was quite cold because one negative about this lodge there's no fans there's no air conditioning constantly humid damp oh it's been really really horrible at night especially trying to get to sleep none of us have slept very well We've got all the windows open, but because of the weather in the UK at the moment, it is gonna get cooler now as we head into next week. Obviously, you can't predict the weather. We've been lucky because it's been beautiful and sunny, except for today, but we were hoping that there'd be air conditioning. You know, these are expensive lodges. Got great facilities, really, really great facilities. This kitchen is stunning, and the living room and everything is really, really nice. That sofa is so, so comfy. Really luxury lodge with everything that you need, but it hasn't got air conditioning. Okay, fair enough. If it doesn't have air conditioning, have some fans. I mean, we've got everything. We've got eras, we've got everything for kiddies, hoovers, loads and loads of stuff filled in these cupboards, loads and loads of stuff filled in these cupboards and thing. Everything you can think of that you would need but a couple of fans, you know, three or four fans sorted around, inexpensive. It just would have made our stay a lot better, but that is the only negative. But no, we've really enjoyed it. We've enjoyed walking around, seeing what's around here. The village in Bluestone is really pretty. It just reminds me of just walking through one of the towns in Pembrokeshire, like Tembe, with coffee shops, Knight's Tavern. That's a massive um, three or four bedroom lodge. We've got three main restaurants. The restaurant we went to last night, the Oak Tree, we paid a deposit of five pound per person online to secure a table. But the meal there, oh my gosh, it was absolutely beautiful. The best meal that we've had here, I think, compared to the night before. That was really nice as well. So we can't complain. The food that we've had is really, really nice. I haven't showed you the twin bedroom. The twin bedroom got cot beds there and what oh, we've got the bikes we've decided to keep the bikes in here I'm not sure if I've shown you this either it's a separate bathroom so it's very very well catered for families really nice and again Esper products Esper's beautiful <laughs> It's been really nice. Nice first time in Bluestone. So we're just going to finish tidying up and then we're going to go off and have a coffee or something.
coffee interested in finding out how much things cost in the tea coffee we had a pumpkin spice latte ice cream milkshake strawberry delight smoothie a americano and then raspberry coconut slice and a moroccan meze salad bowl and it came to 24 pound 60. It looks like these aren't finished because there's barriers here. I think these are the three bedroom ones, which the balcony all opens up at the top there. And we've got here a little pond. It's cute. We are just about to leave. We had a little wander around in the village, took some photos. Lots and lots of people are leaving now. I suppose because the weather's not great and saves traveling back tomorrow maybe, I don't know. But lots of people are leaving now. We're seeing people with their cars coming in and packing them up. But we've done something different. Ollie and I just went up to the car now with loads of our bags on the buggy. So we're just gathering everyone up. John and Ollie are gonna ride their bikes up to the car and then we're gonna head home such a gorgeous lodge definitely definitely recommend here the position as i mentioned earlier on is brilliant really great the path to the village is literally is literally just there but yeah hopefully we'll see you again maybe how long has bluestone been here about, about 20 years, 15, 20 years, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> we used to be able to come here and go to the Blue, the Blue Lagoon, it used to be open to the public, and what is called the Hive now, that used to be the Adventure Centre, and all the kids in Pembrokeshire, they had birthday parties there, and it's completely changed, but it's not open to the public anymore, unfortunately. Off we go, last few items in the buggy. 